Hello everyone, and welcome to the Hamster Necker channel. I am Hamster, and today I am gonna read you The Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen. Yow, yow. This will be the first part of our ASMR series where you can use to keep you company, to help you sleep. Ready to help you relax. Without further ado, this is The Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen. Far out at sea, the water is as blue as the bluest cornflower, and as clear as the clearest crystal, it is very deep, and if many steeples were piled on top of one another, they would now reach from the bed of the sea to the surface of the water. It is down there that the mermen live. The most wonderful trees and plants grow there, and such flexible stalks and leaves that at the slightest motion of the water, they move as if they were alive. All the fish, big and little, collide among the branches, just as up here, birds glide through the air. The palace of the Merman King lies in the very deepest part. Its walls are of coral, and the long pointed windows of the clearest amber. But the roof is made of mussel shells, which open and shut with the lapping of the water. The Merman King had been for many years a widower. But his old mother kept house for him. She was a clever woman, but so proud of her noble birth that she wore twelve oysters on her tail. The other grandees were only allowed six. Otherwise, she was worthy of all praise, especially because she was so fond of the little mermaid princesses, her grandchildren. They were six beautiful children, but the youngest was the prettiest of all. Her skin was as soft and delicate as a rose leaf, her eyes as blue as the deepest sea. But like all the others, she had no feet, and instead of legs, she had a fish's tail. Each little princess had her own little plot of garden where she could dig and plant whatever she liked. One made her flower bed in the shape of a whale. Another thought it nice to have hers like a little mermaid, but the youngest made hers quite round like the sun. She would only have flowers of rosy hue like its beams. She was a curious child, quiet and thoughtful. And while the other sisters decked out their gardens with all kinds of extraordinary objects, which they got from wrecks, she would have nothing but the rosy flowers like the sun up above except a statue of a beautiful boy. It was hewn out of the purest white marble and had gone to the bottom from some wreck. If you find the video enjoyable or helpful in any way, please like and subscribe to help with the algorithm of the channel. 